Hi, Brian Stucker here again, certified personal trainer and baby boomer fitness expert, where I show you how to turn 50 and 60 and make it the brand new 30. I'm here today with Dr. Richie, and we're gonna talk about one of these key questions that I get all the time. What is the truth about aging? Yeah, that's a great question. And the reality is there are a lot of truths, but even what you just started with, right? Like 50 and 60 is the new 30. Uh, it's that concept of age really is just a number and you're how old it is really how old you feel, right? So when Satchel Paige said, if you didn't know how old you are, how old would you be? Love it. Right? It's very much based on how do I feel? How do I move? How much energy do I have? What can I do? And so one of the biggest truths with aging is that it, the number is really not that important, right? So you can have a 65-year-old that can outperform a 35-year-old. Right? Awesome. So when somebody says, oh, he's too old to do that, what they really mean is he's not physically able to do that, right? And so, so one of the big truths that I believe as baby boomers get older and as they begin to turn 70 this year is they're going to shatter all of our stereotypes about what it's true to grow old, right? And they're going to start doing things that we used to think that's only something that younger people do, right? And we're going to realize, wait a minute, age really isn't a limitation anymore are going to start experiencing things in their 70s and 80s that we never thought was possible and so so really one of the big truths there is that genetics is such a small portion of aging we used to think that well it's just you have good genes so you're going to live to 100 right and what we actually know is it's only about 20 to 25 percent so really really our ability to age well is based on how we take care of ourselves and so what we do in our 40s in our 50s, in our 60s, is gonna pay huge dividends to what our 70s and 80s look like. So I tell a lot of people, look, don't put off a fitness program, right? Like if somebody comes in and sees you and they're 52 and they're like, well, maybe I'll wait till I'm 60. You know what? The time you put in in your 50s is gonna pay off in your 70s and 80s and what those years look like. And so one of the biggest truths really is how you age is very controllable by how you live, in terms of exercise, nutrition, lifestyle and so you really have a huge control over what that's going to look like. Do you want to age really really well? Live really really well to 90 and you know your last few days you're sick and then you die or do you want to suffer from say 80 to 90 for 10 years? And so there's a, a really uh, a concept of what does it look like to grow old really really well and age really really well versus what we've seen sort of in the past which is, is the model of I'm sick the last several years of my life. Which that really is not a true picture of aging. That's a picture of poor lifestyle that then leads to chronic disease. That's a great point because the other day on my Facebook wall, I, I posted a picture of this seven-year-old bodybuilding woman and she was just flexing. And I said, what do you guys think of this? And it had a picture of an olding, older, failing woman at the same age. And one of the members on there just went into a huge rant about you know, that's impossible, you know, you can't do this, it's one in a million, it's genetics. Right. How do you, I mean, that just proves the point right there. It's like, right. what you do in your 30s, 40s, and 50s will determine if you're going to be... Right, and if, I, I think I know what bodybuilder you're talking about, and if you look at how she has transformed her health in the last 10 years, you realize it's not genetics, it's not like she was a bodybuilder <laughs> in her 20s, right? It's not like that's she had funny. a muscular physique she has built the physique that she has and so sure some of us have more genetics to be more muscular than others right we're not all going to be bodybuilders i get that but to say that she's a genetic freak that that is a mistake and so the truth about aging there is you can have a 75 year old that's physically fit and very strong and one that's not and it's not genetics it's lifestyle choices awesome Thank you, doctor. Yep. I appreciate that. Absolutely. If you guys like this video, click the like button below, because I really did. Click the like button below, leave a comment. And if you have any other questions for us, you just send us a comment. We'll be happy to answer that for you. Make it a great day.